This is June 29th, uh, day before my oldest daughter's birthday. Happy birthday, Amethyst. And, um, but up here in the garden, or the high tunnel, and um, so moved some bees this morning and, um, you know, finished that. And then I came up here and no, I have not had breakfast yet. And it is almost lunchtime. It's 10 after 11. But these are fava beans. I've never seen them planted before. <laughs> And when I, when I first noticed them, which um, I can't find it now, but anyway, it's got a black, there it is. It's got a black um, dot on it. And then when I first saw the bloom, it was like, oh my gosh, there's a bug. So I panicked and came over and uh, luckily I didn't pull it, um, but it is uh, the color of their bloom. And then there's my peas, snap peas. Um, they're climbing up this trellis as soon as, well, they are doing it, but it's pulling it off and I need to tack it up. But our tomatoes are coming on strong. We've had some ox hearts with some um, uh, bottom, in, bottom in root or uh, rot, bottom in rot, <laughs> whatever. But anyway, yeah, those are um, coming on good and... Um, you know, we got rid of those and I think it's because of lack of water But here is my favorite tomato and the whole high tunnel and those are grape uh, Cherry tomatoes if that makes sense a grape tomato and um, But they're they are the best to me that is so but yeah, yeah, these are uh, grew some sunflowers and uh, they said that it would take the the bugs away and off the tomato plants onto them and we have killed oh probably about 10 cucumber bugs don't know if they hurt potatoes but at least they've drawn them and we you know we check them all the time and uh, squish them so these are berries um we're trying to grow just started growing and we'll buy more each year and i think i can transplant off of it because one of them already is having a shoot but these are barbless and i hope to have one whole row of them and um, enjoy them that way so move some some uh onions and transplanted them in here today so they're they're doing good with our drip line they really come a long way and again more tomatoes actually i can i can say that for the whole length 96 feet of oh yeah there's more tomatoes but yay um there's the ox hearts um yeah there's they're starting and bottom end root rot that's what it is bottom end rot and there's one bean and i'm not real sure what that is but i planted a whole row and that's the only one that came up so i transplanted it down here and kind of shocked it a little bit so double watering it and then there's some some bush beans and transplanted my strawberries today in the ground they were in hanging pots on the other side and uh, on the south side I'm not sure if that matters this is the north side that they're on now so um, I'll probably end up covering them because we have a mole or something in here that just will not leave us alone and we can't catch it so and these tomatoes are again my favorite they're late in bloom but uh, these are, are voluntarily uh, planted and they are the grape. We had this whole row back here with grapes last year and didn't have them um, picked up well, you know, like tied up well and they laid on the ground and reseeded. So yay me. And um, so I have them tied up this year um, so I can walk down the aisle and I'm not sure what these tomatoes are. I think they might be the Amish paste yeah they are wonderful we did uh, romas and amish paste to do a comparison and hands down the amish paste is a better there's a there's a little bee not sure what she's doing but um yeah i just planted carrots there so we'll see oh yeah i planted carrots down there too by the onions on um, each side and then i just snipped all these uh kale and I think that's broccoli, but not 100% sure. Um, so, and then there's another uh, sunflower. And, and then these are voluntarily beans. Um, probably a brown bean, because I think the black beans were down there. And then the squash. Um, 
Um, and then these are, these are definitely brown beans. So these are probably black, black beans. Um, they're voluntarily because, uh, and then, um, Brussels sprouts, never grown them before, but super excited for them to work because I uh, found out that I really love them roasted. And these zucchinis, um, are from last year's seed. So I harvested those and came up and, you know, planted them and they did very well. And there's one, yay! And then here's a striped one too, yay! So they're they're coming. The, the honeybees and bumblebees have just really enjoyed them. And here's um, cabbage, and I have some neem oil to try. I just got it. Um, there's some, there's some more um, voluntarily planted uh, tomato plants, and that is by the bugs because we did not even have tomatoes over there. And that thing, um, I'm just growing it because it looks beautiful, but I hate the squash. It's one of those hard neck squashes. I had gobs of them last year and I think I tried to eat one and then just threw them rest in the, in the compost pile. But obviously missed one because that one planted by the, the animals. And here is a uh, cauliflower. So hope it does well. And then banana peppers, yay. I found a, a really good recipe last year for um, banana pepper rings and they were wonderful and these are my potatoes the first ones are red and the second ones are white and organic and um, we I tried it this year or this way to grow them inside and so far they are doing amazing very proud of them and um, and then here's some more banana peppers so yep or no, no, these are purple peppers. Yeah, purple peppers. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I got the egg of it. There's some red lettuce that I've tried and tried to grow, and it takes forever to grow, which now lesson learned. And these little things right there, that is from a romaine lettuce that I got at the grocery store, cut off the end and put it in water, and, and there they are. So, um, and this is Paris lettuce. And, um, so they're, uh, I guess you, the outsides are really, really tough, but the insides are nice and tender. So I guess that's what you, you, um, cut out and eat. But, um, there's my kale that I picked today. And yes, that is plum full. And, um, talking about putting, this isn't one, but we're talking about maybe bringing a nuke up here. And, um, because I love my honeybees, but sometimes they're pretty stupid and they cannot find their way out and um so they lay in here and, and they die so there's some more um sunflower seed or sunflowers plants and they have really been eaten up so and then that, that's the ones that we find all the cucumber um things on too so but yeah so you know pretty stoked um there's a borage that came up by itself and it's a plant and I, I planted a lot of them in here last year and I don't know if you're seeing it or not. Um, but anyway, pretty excited about that and I'll probably transplant it somewhere outside. But um, yeah, humming or the bumblebees or I can see them all over. And uh, I think we're doing good, we're learning. And you know, this is our second year of growing in the high tunnel and um, Next year, we've already got, you know, plans, and uh, hopefully we'll do well that, that year as well. So, yeah, I'm rambling, but I'm very blessed and uh, learning new skills every day, and I um, hope you enjoy it.